Hello. Now I want to show you how you can set up your computer to work on Force Asia knitting projects. I have in mind the knit editor, the knitting pattern and the iApp interface project and packages. You can find them on knitting.forceasia.org. And yeah, there's a list of all the knitting projects. So now I'll show you how you can set up your computer to contribute to these projects. First of all, this is a freshly installed Xubuntu, so it is a Ubuntu and everything I do should work on any Ubuntu. To open the command line with Control rt first need to git clone the repositories, knit editor, knitting pattern and I have interface. So this is the original repository, but when you contribute you may want to fork the repository and then do what I do with your own clone. Copy. Yeah, kit is not installed. Now we have cloned the knit editor project. Now clone the IAP project, IAP interface project. Now we need to set up our Python environment, a virtual environment, and you can find this by searching for Python virtual environment. The idea of a virtual environment is that you separate the dependencies of the projects from the dependencies of the operating system. So we can do this. Mm -hmm. That was the first step. We can pip install virtual env. Okay, we we don't have a projects folder. We just do it in the home home folder and virtual env. Actually, mm -hmm. okay, we should use this. I create a folder which is called VN minus netting with a Python 3.5 interpreter. Okay, and start. Now we can source the activation. Okay, now we are in the, in the virtual environment and now we can install the packages. So the knit editor requires Kiwi. Now we want to install Kiwi for Python 3. We can go to the documentation of the knit editor. There we find the Kiwi installation. The, installations is the installation instructions for Ubuntu. We can install it using the software packages. Okay, here we find the dependencies with SDL2. You can use this command to install Kiwi for Python. Indeed, we want to install it for Python 3, so we should use Python 3 dev there. And now I can change the command. Somewhere there is a editor. So get this installed. 3 pip, we don't need it. We have the virtual environment. This is the command we can run. So now we have executed this installation command. Now we have the virtual env already installed. We entered the virtual env already. 
we need to install Python. Then we can install Kiwi. Now we can check if we install Kiwi successfully and Kiwi is successfully installed. And there we have the Nit Editor project and now we can go into every project and install the dependencies. Now we got this error and I googled it. I can google it. This is due to Pillow, the Python imaging library that failed to install search. Let's see if that works. Okay, this is installed. Then we can install the test requirements. Okay, they are installed and there are also the development requirements. And we execute this and this creates a link to, to the site packages. And now we are able to import it here. Okay, and here we do the same. We install we, we link the package, we install the dependencies, the dev requirements, the test requirements, and the requirements. And here we do the same. Install the requirements. Uh, we install the test requirements and then the dev requirements. Okay, and then we do something additional. We we uninstall the pip installed knitting pattern and iAP interface packages. Now we can check if the knit editor runs. And yes, the knit editor runs, the window is open. We have successfully installed the knitting pattern project and the related projects. Nitty Detour and IAP Interface.